Okay, how's it going for everyone? It's been a long time since I've uploaded, so I thought I'd put together a little series where I get every Creation Club mod I've done a review on, starting from level one. And this is going to be a playthrough, so no fancy editing, etc. And also, let me know in the comments if you prefer me to narrate this series or just to shut up and play. Obviously, it's a bit late for this video and the others in the pipeline, but if you don't want to hear my ramblings, I will stay quiet. Now this is Leah, she's a Breton and the armour she's wearing is from the Divine Elegance store I reviewed a couple of videos ago. I literally finished escaping from Helgen, fast travelled to the store and then came back to the start point. As I said before, the object is to get every Creation Club, Club mod I can at as low a level as I can. The rules that I'm going to follow are fairly simple, no cheat god or console commands. The only exception to this uh, will be using the cheat room for gold and ingredients. Now, this is purely to save time, nothing else, as you can make tons of gold using alchemy very easily, but it does take a fair amount of time, which I just don't have. And I'll also be able to use any weapon or armour I get with any mods I have installed, unless of course they make me ridiculously OP. Now, if I remember, I'll leave the link to the review of every Creation Club mod I'm covering in a particular video, plus any other mod I've used. Now, if I miss something, just post it in the comments and I'll add it later. Uh, but please bear in mind all the mods are available to all platforms. Now I did think of never levelling up and just staying at level 1 but there are some mods that would be pretty difficult to do such as uh, Umbra etc. Um, but I'll try and keep Lee as lower level as I possibly can. Now this means I'll be very vulnerable uh, especially when travelling so before I begin I'll have to get some help from Atronax and followers. So first things first we're going to uh, go off and join the College of Winterhold and grab some Atronax staffs, in particular the Flame and Storm Atronax, and then we're going to go and get Inigo, which is fine for any of you playing PC or Xbox, uh, sadly not for PS4. Uh, and anyway, we'll get another follower later on down the line. And once we've done this, we'll go mod hunting. So let's crack on. I've got to tell you, it's great being back in Skyrim. I've been off playing Cyberpunk for the past few months and I really, really, really enjoyed the game. I had very few glitches. Um, I think just one where I couldn't continue because um, one of the characters wouldn't turn up to actually start a quest. You literally can follow the storyline as you, as you went on. So I just restarted and played through. Really good. But there's no real um, uh, replayability to it. And uh, do you know what? Coming back to Skyrim, it's like coming home. I do like this game, you know. Even after all these years. <laughs> it's great. Okay. Just leading to it. And the game's looking pretty good as well. I kind of, with the modding, because I've got to record and stuff, I, uh, I can't really over mod it. Um, but I, I like it as I've got it. And I'm going to try, if possible, to avoid as many in game quests as I can. No, you can't avoid them all. Um, the only reason, the only thing I've done with uh, Leah before is when I did the Divine Elegance uh, video, I used her to showcase some, um, some of the clothes and stuff. So I actually could have fast travelled to Whiterun if I wanted to, but uh, I thought, what well, the purpose of this video? I'm going to run. And the way I'm going to do this as well is, is that a mod? Uh, God, do, do you know what? Honestly, I haven't played this game for so long. <clears throat> Even though I've done uh, a few review videos, what I normally do with, with those kind of things is I go into God mode. Because nobody wants to see me playing for hours normally on a review. So I literally show what must be done. Um, but like I say, it's normally in God mode. So I haven't played properly for a long, long, long time. The old muscle memory's gone.
And we'll take a peek see at Reich's end as well. This is one of my favourite house mods, or prayer home mods. I, I love Reich's end. It's really well done. Foolishness. Now come along quietly, and we won't have to get lost. And I don't think we'll be seeing the giant. I think I, when I brought um, Leah to uh, White Run during that video, I think we did the giant thing. Yeah, it looks like we did. to be back. So if you're doing this like a normal start, what I strongly suggest you do is uh, you save here, I'll save here, um, and then you can basically keep on reloading to get the spell that you want. Um, but I'm using a mod called Scholar's Refuge and there's a load of spell times in there, so uh, yeah, just like that, just, just save like that. And then when you get to the college and you, you, you meet um, what's a face at the uh, college you know entrance, you can reload it till you get the smell which you want, which I always recommend the frame out for neck. Uh, but like I said, I don't need it because I've got Scholar's uh, Refuge there. So I've got that spell in there. Climbing back and we'll be off. Full of here we are at lovely Winterhold. I normally come here first thing, th first thing in every playthrough, uh, just to get a player room. But we'll be going for mere watch first thing, so we don't really need it. I'm just doing this to join the college and get the staffs. Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? Perhaps, but what is it you expect to find within? Ah, the immortal plane. It is said to be the source of all magic. This is a noble goal, indeed. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. Excellent. The fear spell has saved the life of many an illusion mage. If you could cast it on the seal here on the ground, that would prove your skill. No? Well, if you think you're capable of it, then I'd be happy to provide it to you for a mere 30 gold. Or you can try your luck with one of the court wizards around Skyrim. They also sell spells. Here you are. Now I'm anxious to see you cast it. Well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. Yes, yeah, so if, if I wasn't using mods to get this, I'd actually reload it until I got the spell I want. I mean, you might want something like the Fear Spell, uh, but for me, the Flame Atronach or Fury are the two spells I want. Okay, we've got to go and listen to this lure for a while. I believe 
I've made myself rather clear. Yes, of course. I'm simply trying to understand the reasoning behind the decision. You may be used to the Empire bowing to... Welcome to the college. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour, and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? Wonderful. Please follow me, and don't wander off. The College of Winterhold has been a fixture in Skyrim for thousands of years. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. The Arcanian is located above the Hall, and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge of the College, the Archmage's responsibilities often keep him occupied. Thus, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Unfortunately, Tidings. we've had to implement more stringent entry procedures due to some problems with the local Nords. We don't anticipate any real violence, but it never hurts to be prepared. Oh yeah. Cat rocks. You got a nice little walk now. Our newest members are housed here in the Hall of Attainment. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside, as others may be working on research or delicate experiments. Now I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. Oh, lovely. Just what I needed. Nope. This is where I'd normally go on a massive thieving spree as well. Got to be careful doing that though. Make sure you do loads of saves because you can be kicked out of the college. You can get back in eventually, but uh, still a bit of a pain. Oh, no, no. Nothing worth it here, I don't think. No, let's just get this over and done with. Initially, you'll be learning from Tolfdip, one of our most esteemed wizards. Keep clear of the college and keep yourself out of trouble. Mirabelle, come on. Talk 
Tolfdir is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. <laughs> I hate the boat. just beginning. Please, stay and listen. So, as I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. Unless you can control oh, she does look cute with this can, mod. And will destroy you. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control, mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. And what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not give us a chance to show you what we can do? You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? Is that so? See, she agrees with us too. Why don't you actually show us something? All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with the demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? That's all right. I can teach you a very basic ward, one that's enough for the purposes of this lesson. Now, if you'll just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. Here we go. Over there, please. Just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now, cast the ward spell. How do you feel? I might be sick. Well, do you know, I don't think I've ever used a ward in like any of my playthroughs. Practicing with ward. I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarthor nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. Okay, that's done. Let's go and get the stars. And if any of you are new players out there, I really, really recommend you come and get one of these staffs if you're right at the beginning of a game. They can be a lifesaver. Okay, let's get ourselves prepared. Okay. Nope, better not nick anything here. Okay. Now, be careful here these ice rays at this level can one shot you just yes yeah, it's just simply they'll one shot you so uh, be really really careful they don't like fire so 
Lucky I've got the arcane archers pack. So I've got some fire arrows. Yeah, you see, look, he just dumb a little doggy in one bite. Come on, come back, come back. Oh shit. Nom nom. Okay, there's a few of these to pick up around here, I think. Okay, there's a few other bits and bobs to pick up around here, but I'm not going to bother with that. Literally, I'm just coming for the staffs. Doop doop. And now a store matronic. Actually, of all the Atronachs, Stormy's my favourite. He's the most universally useful. He's pretty mobile. Packs a punch and he's fairly tough. Um, it, all of them got a place, but uh, if you only have to have one, I would go with Storm. And not many creatures or humans have uh, resistance to shock, so uh, he's one to get. So, right, so we've done uh, the college. In the next video, we're going to be uh, going to get old Inigo, and then we're going to go and get Mirwatch, so we've got a base to operate from. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed the vid. Catch you in part two. See you later. Love you.